to find solutions to problems is greatly appreciated. I want to say that. Chief of Staff, the other co-minister of Defense, and other ministers are present. Thank you for coming. The NSA is here, it's not here yet. So, all end of security agencies. Today is the day of joy that we can regard as fulfilling in our path to conflict resolution, taking a very positive step towards realizing our goal of our developmental goal. The out of every tragedy, if you are careful, you will see an opportunity. We face this conflict for some time, and some of this problem. We know it's, a, it's an ungrown problem. The traditional old ways is very hard for people to stay away from. I tried in teach you break about the solution and be told that we never give. And today the solution is here. Answer. We can create a huge economy out of the situation that we said of problems. Instead of utilizing what we have for the benefit of mankind, the populace that we have, we let it lose. Unorganized mind. It is not uh, the fault of uh, Adam's man or of Abel. It's our fault in leadership. Not finding solution immediate, you know, path to solve a problem. Leadership is about thinking and doing. <clears throat> Here we we'll find it. And I tell you, we are going to establish the committee here of those presenters. Consider yourself as members of the committee. Coordinating with Ministry of Affairs. I will be talking to all the governors. The federal government is ready to apply to acquire land for ranches and livestock development. <laughs> we pay for it. We pay for the land. If you don't want to be much free, if you don't want to participate. And imagine you create this opportunity. Your best doctors are busy, gainfully employed. The private sector, the education opportunity for the others and the family children, the medical care that will be established through that is a life saving opportunity that we have.
imagine us producing enough milk for our children in schools. Imagine us being becoming an exporter, a net exporter. of cheese and animal yogurt and all that. Imagine us producing the skin industry and leather industry. Imagine us providing Cold storage facilities and employment all over. Imagine us being successful at this. It's a matter of commitment and resolute determination. To get The whole issue of livestock reform is not for one particular ethnic nationality. It's not for particular religion. It's not for particular geopolitical zone, but it's for all Nigerians because it has two major components. First, the issue of economy. And secondly, the issue of security. Due to changing climatic situation, increase in population, creation because of technology, the farmer now doesn't require the manure from the cow because there is a synthetic fertilizer. While the husband has not, is not in position to get a new version of, graze, of grazing. That is the grasses. He is still using the natural grasses. These are issues that we need to resolve in our new reformed agenda. We need to also consider those who are into cattle business in the traditional format are also human beings. They need to be addressed. But the panacea is we need to migrate, transist, from this migratory tendency to you know ranching, mini ranching that support system can can address.